Hello and welcome to Replo 101. The first question we should quickly address is what exactly is Replo? Replo is a highly versatile, no and low code visual builder for your Shopify store. With Replo, you can quickly design landing pages, product pages, theme sections, and more, all with pixel level control of the look and feel of your customer's on site experience. We are very much Shopify without the dev time. Over the next few lessons, I'm going to give you a crash course in Replo and help you go from zero to value as quickly as possible. This might be a bit of a whirlwind, but that's okay. The goal of this course is to introduce you to Replo's core features. We'll cover more core concepts in much greater detail in our 201 course. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in and feel free to follow along. We're starting with the assumption that you have already installed and connected Replo to at least one Shopify store. We do have dedicated videos if you need help with installation or setup in general. After logging in, you'll be taken to your dashboard where you'll see any organizations you're a part of and any projects you have access to. A project is basically just the Shopify store. This is generally where you'll do all of your account management, but that's boring, so let's skip that for now and click into our project to open the Replo editor. The first time you go ahead and load a project, you'll see this page creation modal. One of the best things you can do is actually just create a page from a template just to see how elaborate and captivating your pages can be. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll hit start from template, and over here on the left, we'll filter by CRO top picks. I really like this on it offer page. It's just generally a great landing page that's been proven to have a really high conversion rate. You can go ahead and click add and we'll call this page Replo 101 Demo. We'll go through these page settings later, but for now, go ahead and just create the page. All right, let's chat about what's going on here. There's a lot of sections to the Replo editor, so let me quickly go through each. First, in the middle, we have the canvas. This is just like any other design tool you might be familiar with. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, move left, move right, or just generally scroll. In the top left, we have all the content you've created in Replo. Different pages, sections, product templates, they all live here. For now, we only have this one page, but creating more is as simple as clicking the plus sign here. We don't charge you for pages or content created within Replo. We only charge you once you start to publish content to your store, which we'll cover later in the lesson. Now onto the lower left nav. This is the page layout section. Now, what do I mean by that? This is actually the layout or structure of your content. So for example, we have the banner section, the hero section, and the press section, and then on and on as you scroll down the page. If you wanted the press section to be above the hero section for whatever reason, it's as simple as moving the section within the component tree. You can also drag and drop directly within the canvas, but for new users, I recommend using the layout nav, as this helps develop a firmer understanding of the actual structure you're imposing on your content. And this is a true component tree with a full element hierarchy. For example, in the hero section, I can click this dropdown and within my section, I have subcomponents, each potentially with their own subcomponents. This container has an image, which is just the on it logo. This container has two text components. If I wanted to change their order, I can simply rearrange my component tree here. If you're familiar with HTML, this is analogous to the DOM structure. Okay. Moving on from that, back to the canvas, we have the bottom nav. Here you can toggle preview mode, which allows you to experience your content directly within the Replo editor. Using the same button takes you back to edit mode. Just to the right, you can play around with Replo's responsive design system by changing the canvas to represent different device types. We'll go into more detail on how to build responsive content in a future lesson, but for now, just know that all Replo templates are responsive across all device types. Continuing along the bottom nav, we have undo and redo. Don't worry, these also follow the standard Command-Z, Control-Z keyboard shortcuts. We also have various Zoom presets. And last, we have a few different ways to ask for help. Next up is the very meaty right nav. This is where all the settings live for the look and feel of your content. So for example, if I go to the layout nav and click into the hero section, I can see that in the right nav, I have a few tabs. The design tab provides complete control over the component's appearance. This is loosely analogous to CSS styles. Let's look at a few examples. Here, I can set the padding and margin of the hero section. I can change the color of my text to red here. I can open the component's background configuration and remove the image entirely. 
setting an arbitrary color for it instead. Okay, let's undo those and instead do something useful. Let's change the background image to something more on brand. Now, because Repolo is installed on the Shopify store, we actually have access to all of your store's assets to streamline the building process. This includes product information, media, fonts, and more. Our friends at Huron were nice enough to allow us to use some of their marketing material for this tutorial content, and I've already added those assets to my theme. I'll go ahead and use the Huron Jumbo Shower Kit image here. And I will set this Y position to negative 75. And you know what? That's not quite right. So let's fine tune that just a bit more. Great. That's perfect. So as you can see, I can get down to the pixel on exactly what I want from my page. Outside of the design tab, we also have the config, interactions, and accessibility tabs. Those are super important, but we'll table those for now and come back to them in a future lesson. Okay, the last nav I quickly want to touch on is the top nav. This is pretty standard. You can go back to your main Replo dashboard, manage your plan, discover templates, and even take advantage of some of Replo's more advanced features, like experiments, our A-B testing product. Page history under this dropdown can be pretty helpful, allowing you to revert to an earlier copy of your page. On the right, you can add collaborators to your project. And lastly, and maybe most importantly, you can actually publish these pages to your store. To publish, you'll need a paid plan. But first, let me show you two free ways to preview any page. We want you to be confident in using Replo before committing to a paid plan. First, you can use the bottom nav's preview mode to preview any content in the editor, as I showed you earlier. The second and more versatile preview method is to click this dropdown and right here, we'll populate a preview link bespoke to the current version of your page. So here you can open this up and grab this URL and send it around, showing off your Replo creation. Okay, now let's go back to actually publishing this content to your store. Once you've upgraded, you can click this Publish button, and then this arrow to view the live page. And voila, we have stood up content on your actual Shopify store. We can quickly check for responsiveness on a mobile device, Looks great. We still have a ways to go to make this brand specific, but we're getting there. All right, that was a lot, but trust me, that should provide a great base for what's to come. Take a deep breath and I'll see you in the next lesson.